will propel us at warp speed towards the continuation of our mission to truthfully go where no news will have been going before. And IOF is losing steam amid ongoing anti-governmental protests. Values like Zionism and serving the state no longer seem to work as appealing mechanisms to prevent service members from leaving their duties. This is EnglishAlMayadeen.net. A report published by Haaretz on Tuesday revealed that the Israeli occupation forces were starting to disintegrate in the face of growing opposition against the new Israeli government. The term disintegrate is particularly referring to the fact that growing segments of the Israeli population are refusing to serve in the armed forces. The report written by Israeli analyst Yossi Melman states that the fear of internal disintegration within the IOF had surpassed the alleged Iran threat and the Palestinian uprising. Melman states that the protests which have been waged against Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's new extremist government, including the controversial reforms he's been carrying out, had caused a major disruption within the IOF standard functioning. They also complicate the manpower directorate to attend the IOF staffing needs in the short and long run. They're likewise eroding the Army's morale and their motivation, as well as what Malman calls the ethos of the People's Army. The report identifies two particular reasons for all of this. First, Netanyahu's legal overhaul. Second, a provision that would exempt ultra-Orthodox from military service on a de jure basis. And growing concerns become clearly obvious when IOF chief of staff Herzl Halevi said at a graduation ceremony for combat officers that soldiers are subject to the law and the army's orders and act in accordance with the IOF spirit and values, he said. We'll be attentive to soldiers' feelings about the dispute, not in order to take sides, but to leave it outside and maintain a single IOF that's united around its complex missions. The report further states that an increasing amount of service members are deciding not to renew their contracts within the army. Values like Zionism and serving the state no longer seem to work as appealing mechanisms. The fully right-wing government's policies are to blame for creating such divisions within Israeli society, the report says. Several reports have indicated that the reservist pilots and navigators are refusing to show up for drills and operational duty. Moreover, about 200 of Israel's most elite reservists threatened in a written letter that they'd stop exercising their duties if the judiciary reforms come to pass. An additional 500 former Shin Bet agents petitioned against the Prime Minister's judicial overhaul, outraged by their former leader's sudden change of political views towards the far right. Retired Mossad employees are also reportedly launching a similar petition, whilst Mossad Director David Barnea gave permission for employers or employees who rank below the level of the department head to take part in anti-government protests. Ahead of a likely Palestinian insurgency following the recent killing sprees carried out by the IOF, the report states that refusal to serve in the army could very much weaken the IOD and threaten it with a possible collapse. And from PressTV.ir, Iran urges unconditional removal of sanctions against quake hit Syria. Actually, that's uh, from an, the prior story. Um, from Al Maidin, protests in Israel grow alongside number of IOF deserters. Mass demonstrations in Israel against the government of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu continue to grow. Israel media reported on Wednesday that the demonstrations spread to the extent that major roads were blocked by protesters. 
On February 26, the Israeli media highlighted the widening of the protests and added that hundreds of members of the security service have joined the demonstrations against the judicial amendments. IOF reserve desertions harm the security of Israel. The Israel's occupation security minister Yav Gallant announced on Wednesday that every call to desert armed service in the Israeli occupation forces is an attack on Israel's security. For his part, the former Israeli security minister Omar Berlev or Barlev said on Tuesday that the desertions could become increasingly possible if the judicial revolution is approved. Barlev in an interview also called for fighting with any means possible as soon as the judicial revolution takes effect. The former minister explained most of this serving or most of those serving in the reserves are volunteers and as soon as they get worried about a coup or revolution they'll definitely stop volunteering. Barlev's statements came in response to the words of former occupation security minister Benny Gantz who ruled out yesterday's call to refuse conscription into the reserves. Barlev defended his point of view, saying those soldiers and officers are defending Israel while endangering their lives. It's their right to withdraw and stop the decision to volunteer for service. Last week, more than 100 IOF soldiers or officers in the special operations system affiliated with military intelligence, including generals, signed a petition warning If the legislation continues, we'll not continue to serve and will no longer serve in the reserves. It's noteworthy that about 2,000 demonstrators from the Israeli IOF Reserve organized marches in Al-Quds last February against judicial reforms. Most serious IOF Reserve crisis since the October war, according to Israeli media. The IOF is concerned about serious crisis in the IOF Reserves following the anti-Netanyahu government protests. An official in the IOF told Haaretz that the army is facing the most serious reserve crisis since the Yom Kippur War, October 1973. Hundreds of Israeli officers threatened to desert IOF reserve service. Yesterday, hundreds of reserve officers in military intelligence unit 8200 in the IOF warned that they'll not volunteer to serve the judicial amendment plan adopted by the Netanyahu government is passed. In a letter they sent to Security Minister Yav Gallant, Chief of Staff Hartsi Halevi said Chief of Military Intelligence Aman Aaron Halifa, the Reserve Forces said, We warn you that we're observing a disturbing accumulation of signs that warn of real fears for Israel's safety and security, as cited by Channel 13. A few days ago, Israeli media reported the resignation of an officer in the Israeli Air Force in protest against the draft judicial amendments. Judiciary reforms. The proposed legislation would prevent courts from overturning any amendments made by the government to Israel's quasi-constitutional basic laws, in addition to giving more weight to the government and the judge selection committee. The legislation undermining the occupation's judiciary independence is fundamental to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's administration, which is comprised of a coalition of extreme Zionist parties. Occupation President Isaac Herzog who'd been aiming to mediate the crisis between the ruling Israeli parties and the opposition, voiced concern over the divisiveness of the legislation, whereby it threatens the unity of the so-called settler population. All right, watch this space. Remember your engagement through a like, a share, and subscribe will propel us at warp speed towards the continuation of our mission to truthfully go where no news will have been going before.